This is the entry gate on the east side of our site. It's the downhill side. And this is the earth berm that we put up on our perimeter. It's acting as the last area of catchment before rain leaves our site. And this is how much we caught. This water is about at its deepest. It's over a meter deep. I'm standing on a fairly elevated area. So you can see how much water we caught coming off of the mountain. This is an enormous amount of water that we've caught. And uh, it's very encouraging to see that there were no breaks in the earth berm. To see the amount of water that we got and then it's working the way it's supposed to. This is stone underneath me. And on the other side you can see that we've got a little bit of water running out underneath, which is exactly what a check dam is supposed to do. It's supposed to allow the water to stop and then slowly run through the landscape. And that's what's happening right there. All this water on the other side is running from the under, out from our site. So that's water that we also stopped, but that is slowly going to leave and sink into the rest of the land further downstream and outside of our site. So we have, all of this is water that would have rushed through as part of a flash flood. And we have successfully stopped it, and now we're letting it slowly flow out. Once this same effect is duplicated on the rest of our check dams, we will have seasonal streams after every rainfall. Because each check dam will do the same thing. It'll stop water and then the excess will slowly run out onto the rest of the landscape. So this check dam has worked incredibly well. It stopped an enormous amount of water from our rainfall. And then at the overflow point it is slowly releasing it. Thank you.